Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel and the videos on this channel are made for adults and are in no way, shape or form intended for or made for children. So we're going to be continuing to colour in Fairies Grayscale by Jade Summer. I'm filming from a new location. It's not the most comfortable position. As you can see, I just knocked the camera because I'm getting comfortable. Um, it's just one I'm working on at the moment, trying to find the best way of filming in this new new space so um, we're going to continue colouring in this one as you can see this is how much we've done so far so you can see I have a little tray here I'm filming in the spare bedroom which is now my colouring space and uh, this is just uh, one of the ways I'm trying different uh, camera positions and seating positions for me to find the best way to film because I don't want to be lugging all my stuff up and down the stairs every time I want to make a video. So I asked you in the last video when we did this, when we started this, uh, what colour for the sky and you guys said sapphire. So this is sapphire which is A8274 from the Arteza Everblend markers. And I'm just going to colour in the entire sky, avoiding the stars and all the glittery bits and then what we'll do is we'll get the the gel pens out afterwards and we'll uh, do the stars and the little droopy these things here you can't release these these um, so how is everybody how are you holding up this is what week nine I'm in now I think I'm not sure but uh, I'm doing okay um, I've been buying stock from another reseller who but obviously buys in bulk and then she sells on the stuff she doesn't list I believe that's how she's doing it I've had two lots on I've got another two lots coming so I'm really looking forward to that so I've actually been listing the last few days and photographing I didn't photograph today because I've actually got tomorrow off work so my plan is to just get up at the normal time when the alarm goes off and Friday the same thing and have some breakfast downstairs and do what I normally do in the mornings and then I'm going to come back upstairs while everybody's still in sleeping bed because Paul will be working um, different hours tomorrow because he's got a late meeting uh, this is this will be on Thursday and I'm just going to come up there and get my lamp out put the TV on and I'm literally just going to photograph as much as I can until Jennifer wants to get out of bed. Um, I'll bring up a drink and I'll just, you know, I can take a break, I can have the, the small TV on quietly. I've got it on at the moment, it's off, it's on pause at the moment. But in between filming when I'm setting up the next shot, or finding the next item because I'm filming a few flip throughs as well today I'll just put them on I'm not worried too much about the stars because I will be putting gel pen over and as you know the gel pens are really good for going over everything so but I'm not using the chisel tip because there are so many little bits of stars and I'm trying to leave as much of that available as possible so yeah, everything's been been good. Um, got a load of colouring books, obviously. I actually counted, and if you're on the Jade Summer group in Facebook, you'll have seen this, my Jade Summer book collection, and I think I've got 45. It's because I've got them in different places. So I've got ones I've coloured in, ones I haven't coloured in, ones I'm working in at the moment, uh, ones I haven't hauled, ones I've worked in this month. So, But I think I counted it as 45 Jade Summer books. And there is still more I want. I really like the Jade Summer books. Um, whereas before I wasn't buying the patterns, I'm now buying all the pattern books because I really like those. They're very nice to just work in when I'm sitting in bed on of an evening I don't want to to go to sleep quite I like to just sit and you know I might watch a bit of tv and just colour in a pattern book you know it's just for me I do show them on my channel but 
they're nothing special it's just plain block colouring no blending or shading and just colouring in the patterns with colours or glitter pens because I find it very relaxing so So I'm currently sorting out my colouring space. I hope to show it next week. It won't be 100% finished because there's still some stuff I've got to put in here um, and sort out. But hopefully I'll do a bit of sorting tomorrow after I've done all my photographing. As like I said, I've got another two lads coming from this lady and I want to clear the stuff I need to photograph. So, so I'm not making a profit this month. I'm actually in the red. Not a lot in the red. Well, a fair bit in the red because obviously I've bought a lot of stock. But that'll keep me going for a bit and hopefully I'll have some sales. I have I am getting sales. So, you know, it's not that I'm not. But I've had a few items that haven't turned up. I think it's just because the post is a bit dodgy, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um at the moment. So if I'm a little bit quiet, it's because Jennifer's in bed in the room next door, Paul's in bed as well. I've got a cup of tea here as well, but it's behind me. Down there. And I don't want to wake her up. She went to bed early tonight. She normally goes to bed about eight o'clock because she's not in school, there's no nursery. And that means that I can start work at eight o'clock in the morning and she'll just sleep for a bit, sometimes as much as a, an hour and a half. She gets about half nine, some, like this morning she got about 20 past half past nine. Yesterday she was up at 20 past eight. Um, but last night she woke up at 10 to 1, I think it was, crying. I think, and I don't know, because obviously I don't know what's going on in her little head, she might have had a bit of a bad dream. So I went in and I cuddled her for a bit and cradled her like a baby. And she, I held her upright and she just cried. And then I cradled her like a baby and she closed her eyes and stuck her tongue out for a minute. And then she looked at me and pointed towards the cot. And I said, are you ready to go back to bed? And she nodded, yeah. I went, all right then put her back to bed and I never heard from her again that night she went out but today she was in bed by ten past seven literally she Paul took her out for a walk after tea she got back came and had a quick cuddle with me and watched a bit of tv with me and then uh, she pointed to the stairs and I went do you want to go to bed and she looked at me and she went yeah I went, you sure you want to go to bed she went, yeah I went, all right then, go, you know, I'll go and find you some pyjamas. So I put her down and she went over and got her changing mat out and lay down on it ready for me to change her. And I got her and put her in her pyjamas thinking she won't want to go to bed. She'll just sit on my lap and we'll watch TV. Straight up, straight to the stairs. So I'm like right behind her. Paul's got his headphones on. I'm like, Paul, Paul. He's like, what? I'm like, oh, there's my phone. She wants to, she wants to go to bed. He's like, oh, all right then. Because we, we come up together and he brings up her stuff. So she has a little cushion with a camera on it. I got two of them in Tesco's that she's adopted. And a cuddly toy and a blanket. And he brought that, he brought them, he brings them up and I, I just hold her hand as she goes up the stairs. Put her to bed and she was, she lay down, went downstairs, and then about 20 minutes later she was yelling, Mummy, Mummy. And I thought, oh, she's not going to go to sleep. She'll want to get up now. And I, I, I went there, came up, and her sleeping bag had come undone on one of the shoulders, and she wanted me to do it up, and that was all that was wrong. So I was like, oh, okay. So I did it back up. And... I'm just going to colour those in actually. I can always put other bits in. Yeah, and then she was fine. She's been asleep since. Before I go to sleep, I'll just pop my head around the door and check she's okay. Like I said, it's not that late yet for me. Normally I'm filming these around half 10, 11 o'clock. It's like about 9 if that. I don't know actually. It might be about 9 o'clock. No, might not be. It's 20 past. Um, oh, I've had an offer on a item which I am going to take. That's that lady who said her item hasn't arrived. That's okay. I, what I did is I just messaged her and say, has this arrived yet? If not, I'll refund you in the morning. So, just because I know that 
some of the posts have been delayed so I know she's had one of her items she bought two but different times so although they were sent out the same day they went in separate envelopes and if it's if it's not arrived I will refund there's only like a little bit like five or six quid so I don't want much it's very rare I sell anything highly prized usually it's cameras or computer stuff if I do like video games clothing I just sell the cheap stuff because it's it does shift quite quickly I like the higher price stuff when it goes but sometimes it can hang around for a while so I've had an offer on something I've had on there for ooh, must be nearly a year so and they can have it that's a decent enough offer it'll help me out of the hole I'm in I don't worry about making a profit this month because I am actually in profit for the year not by much now I've bought that extra stock but that stock will keep me going for a bit so and you know I enjoy doing the eBay I enjoy the I enjoy all of it photographing drafting listing obviously I mean the packaging the storage the posting I don't mean at the moment I'm not doing the posting because I'm trying to stay away from people because I've got chronic asthma but uh, I'm just you know doing what I can to keep myself as safe as possible I haven't been I've been at the canal once today I did go out into the garden and I am a bit brown but I, it was far too hot I'm not, sorry I'm not very good in the heat I like the warm weather I like the sun I like being able to go out and it not being cold or raining although I do like winter and I like it when it's cold and frosty but I come out in a heat rash even sitting in the sun for five minutes on my arm if my arm's not covered so unfortunately and that's even with sun cream on I have to keep myself covered up most of the time which isn't much fun if it's hot I went out today for a bit with Jennifer and I was absolutely boiling it was horrible. I did sit out there for a bit with her and Paul and we played and I pulled some sails. Um, oh, there goes my tea. That's the problem with putting things on the floor. Let me just pop it back up on. It's because I'm getting uncomfortable and I need to move. <laughs> like I said, this is just a Although this is a video and you'll be seeing it, it is a test of um, me trying to find the most comfortable and best way of filming. And I'll be trying a different way on my next flip through. I've still got to finish off my Black Widows video. I need to get that done. Because then I'm going to do um, one on the Crayola pencils before Jennifer absolutely destroys them because I have done one picture with them and I think it looks very very good considering they're not very expensive pencils I think it was £20 for the entire 100 set so I can always buy myself another set if I want to I've got so many pencils and Jennifer loves to colour. If I'm colouring, or if I'm working, I'm sitting at the big table, she'll get her pens or her pencils and she'll put them up on the table and she'll, and she'll look at me and I'll say, do you want some paper? And she has got some pads and she's got some colouring books. I just get a bit of paper for her to scribble on. And she'll sit there for a good 20 minutes, 30 minutes, as long as I'm there talking to her while I'm working colouring I think it's very hard for her because of course me and Paul are working in the morning so that's why I try and let her sleep in a bit so that if it's not so long for her when she does get up because I don't want it being 
a long time for her to be almost ignored while we work. Obviously I don't ignore her if she's calling my name or she wants food or changing. That takes priority obviously and I do sort her out but I still have to do my contractual hours so. And it is, it can be hard but she's sort of used to the fact now she knows we've got to work so she's getting better and she's not constantly bombarding stuff, me with stuff like this, this knee she wants to sit on my knee all the time um she has days when she does but some days she'll just happily sit and watch television or like i said she'll get her coloring pencils and pens and some paper and she'll come and sit opposite me on the, on the table where i'm working and she'll just sit there and color and she'll show me what she's done and i'll go oh, that's good and we'll just we just have fun she's very very good girl very good girl and uh, yeah some of these stars I'm just gonna not the stars themselves but some of the uh, little sparkly bits I'm just gonna cover them over and I'll just put them back on afterwards because otherwise you're gonna be here all night but that's okay if I can get to grip with colouring in this uh, room It'll be so much easier because I'm actually where I'm going to be sleeping. The only difference is, is normally I would, before I went to bed, put this onto my laptop and get it edited together. But obviously my laptop's downstairs so I'm not going to. So it's just a matter of just... in the morning when I do when I go down for my breakfast if I remember because I'm terrible terrible memory I'll take this down with me the memory card and the camera because sometimes the memory card doesn't work and I'll transfer all the files that I've got over and then when I come back upstairs I'll set it to go and I will uh, let it edit the video together while I'm working. So that's okay. So I'm off work now till Wednesday because Monday we've got a bank holiday and I booked off ages ago. I think it was last year because the bank holiday weekends, Fridays and Tuesdays get booked up very, very quickly. So I've booked off the Friday and the Tuesday and then today I was like I've still got a ton of holiday to take even with my June holiday and my October holiday even though the June holiday has been cancelled and we're not going anywhere I'm still having the week off because we've got to use up our holiday because uh, I bought five extra days because I thought oh you know with Jennifer being you know if she gets ill I've used up my and if I've used up my uh, sick uh, special leave for her, then I can just hopefully, I have to take special leave unpaid or if there's availability, I can have some holiday. But of course we're not in work, we're working from home. So of course I'm not using up those extra days. Not that Jennifer's ill that much. We can carry so many days over, I think it's five. Most I've ever carried over is a couple of hours, I've got to be honest. I think I've carried a couple of days over in the past, but I tend to just enjoy. And I can buy holiday every year, five, it works out as five days, a week, week's holiday. And it's taken out, you don't pay it all in one go, it's taken out monthly. Which is cool. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of sky in this picture, but I like I do like this this book. So like I said, I hope you're all keeping well. As you can tell, we are still colouring loads. I haven't coloured as much this month. I'm just not. I'm doing other things this month. I'm I'm really going on one with my eBay to try and get that up and running in in a, a way that I'm 
actually uh, getting consistent sales and making a bit of money. So obviously um, my foot slipped then while I'm uh, doing eBay, uh, you know, listing, drafting, photographing, all that stuff, packing. I can't be colouring. I am working on a picture from Great Jade Summer's Dark Fantasy in with polychromos, which I've been working on the last couple of days. Um, enjoying that. And I've been working on that intermittently, like I've been taking it into the garden. You've got a bag with some colouring stuff in. So there's that one. Like I said, I always have one on the go up here. I was colouring in. Again, Jade Summer's Magical Patterns. I've got so many Jade Summer books. Um, and I do want to colour in them, but I've got other books I want to colour in as well, like um, some Hannah Lynn. I haven't done a Hannah Lynn picture this month, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I did say we'd do unicorns, and I did say we'd do one for Magical Delights on camera. So the reason I didn't do unicorns and I did this one instead was because Anne over at Colourful Life was doing one from Unicorn Grey, Grey Scale Unicorns. So I thought, I don't want to copy what Anne's doing, so I thought, oh, I'll leave the unicorns for a bit. But I will do one at some point. I might do Magical Delights and have a break from Jade Summer. Obviously, I've been colouring in my Colouring Heaven, and they've announced their Colouring Heaven collection one, which is, oh, um, I can't think of what it was called. The new one's out on the 27th, I think. Where's my phone? Um, I've got my phone on charge somewhere, I just don't know where it is, oh yeah, let's have a quick look, see what it was called, okay, I'll just look at those afterwards, that's eBay because I'm doing this at the moment, Keller in Heaven, is it in this one? There are two Keller in Heaven groups. The magazine here it is it is um, Sarah Kay. Um, apparently, that was big in the eighties. Very cute on a lot of things like bedding and cushions. And I vaguely remember it. I don't think I ever had any of it, but it's a really cute book. And I'm thinking, mm, I want to order that. So it's out on the twenty seventh of May, which means it might make it in time for a. This month's haul. I was even thinking of doing the haul. Sorry, I was taking my towel off my head because I've just had a shower early. But if I order that, I won't. I'll wait to see if it comes in. So. Oh, there we go. How are we doing? There's 23 minutes and all I've done is chat and do this sky. God, this must be so boring for you guys. So what are you guys um, colouring at the moment? What are you working on? Is there a book that you're looking forward to coming out? I know I've got um, a Creative Haven book on order, pre-order, something to do with diners, like 50s style diners or something. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a, a diners book. Um, um, I think, I'm not sure when that's out, because it might have been delayed because of this, all this stuff going on, because, you know, they publish them differently. I mean, Jade Summer published there through Amazon, so at least we do get their releases every week. Their next book is Weddings. I'm not sure about that, because most wedding dresses are white, although they don't have to be. So I'm not sure yet. I haven't made up my mind on that one. I might wait... I like to order them when they're three ninety nine when they're cheap, but even then they only got one pound. They only get up to four ninety nine unless it's like one of the ones that's got a hundred pages, like hundred swirls or a hundred magical patterns or a hundred mandalas. Do you know what I mean? Other than that, they they only go up to four ninety nine, so it's only an extra pound. So, and I'm still there's still so many I haven't got. I think I bought five Jade Summer books this month. 
some of them, yes, have been the new ones, fair enough, they have. But uh, some of them have um, been older ones, so... And there's still loads I want. I mean, there's a Christmas animals, there's Christmas mandalas. Christmas patterns I've got, but oh my life. They put out so many books, and I'm pretty sure they'll probably be doing a Christmas volume four. I haven't coloured in Christmas volume three yet. So, I want tattoo grayscales. They've got two tattoo books out. They've got tattoos, tattoos two, but they've also got tattoos one in grayscale. So I think I'm going to get it in the grayscale rather than in the normal version. Some of the ones that are out of stock, apparently Nick says they're going to be looking at redoing um, with better art. So I really wanted the Edgar Allan Poe one which is out of stock and it's one of the ones that won't be coming back in. But apparently now they've got their, they're saying they're improving, they're looking at redoing some of the earlier ones with uh, new art. So. Fingers crossed they do. I've got to be honest, like, for instance, which one is it? Haunted House is still available. I've got that one and I'm not that keen on it. And Everyday Horror isn't and I'm not keen on that one and I've got it. I have started a picture in it but I've never finished it. So it's one on my whip list to finish, which I might start trying to do. I've also got to try and finish that uh, Kirby Rosanna's... Uh, Whip. I still haven't finished the background so obviously I'm not going to do the rest of it but I wanted to use the polychromos on it but at the moment I'm nowhere near doing it I might use the Prismas I'm not sure yet what do you reckon Prismas or Polly's in Kirby Rosanna's books obviously I know that if it's one of the ones that are double-sided not to use markers because it will go through especially if you want to do the picture underneath um if you don't like the picture underneath it doesn't really matter does it and uh and i do want to try and do i've got a lot of books i haven't colored in and i do want to color in them all Mind you, I've got all the Kirby Rosannas now except for Doodle Invasion, so that's one of the ones I'm going to be having a look for next month, possibly. And I've still only got the one Clara Markova. I might see about that another time. So, I got... Uh, as I said, I love the books. There's so many books I want, but I will run out of space at some point. I've got plenty at the moment. I can always find more space for colouring books though. I'm sure there's always going to be space. It's my main hobby. I, photography used to be my main hobby. I, I did. I can colour that one over for now. Um, but having a child and a young child, when I go out, she's always grabbing at me and pulling at me, which is fair enough. I can't hold the camera steady, so I don't use do my photography at the moment. It, when she's a bit older, I will start again. Oops, that's a bit wobbly, isn't it? I'm sure I get shouted at for that. Oh well, never mind not the end of the world um but yeah I mean I will start photography again if you're interested in seeing any of my photographs all you need to do is google me under Andrea Pryke P-R-Y-K-E WordPress and it's called Travels with my camera I haven't posted on it for, well, since 2018, so that just shows you. I mean, pictures I'm taking are mostly on my camera phone, my phone camera, just because I just, I don't have time to edit and play, so sadly. But as she gets older, 
I'll get into it. If you want to see the best photos, you'll... And we ran out of time. Uh, a lot of the stuff at the end, at the beginning, when you first log into it, is all stuff that's been done with my film cameras and uh, printed, developed by myself and then scanned in. Um, I'm going to say that some of them are quite good. Um, there's nothing wrong with some of them. But the, the better digital ones are a bit further on. But uh, oh, this taken me almost half an hour just to do the sky and it's nowhere near finished. We've still got so much to do on this. Uh, I hope you are not finding this completely boring because the background is taking forever. And yes, I could have used the bigger one, the bigger end, but I didn't. I'm going to turn this off, finish the sky and then come back when I do the gels, okay? It won't be long. Okay guys, I finished um, the background and now I'm going to uh, do the uh, gel pens, uh, so the stars and the, the things like that, so I thought if I was doing this, I'd be there for ever if I was to just do the background on camera all the time it would we'd, we'd be there to link in Christmas wouldn't we so I'll just do the, the gels I've also moved position as well so current YouTube, I'm still watching Doctor Who. I'm working my way through it. I'm, I'm on Peter Capaldi now. I'm on um, The Girl Who Lived. Um, so I'm working on that one. And uh, yes, it's okay. It's not my favourite episode, but it's all right. Um... And on YouTube, I'm watching a channel called, it's a really, really, really strange name. It's called Slapped Ham. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so this guy that runs it, he's okay, like, you know, he's a really good presenter. And it's all mystery stuff. Um, kind of like Weird World, only it's more weird. It's all supernatural stuff. A lot of it is like ghosts on camera, uh, some UFOs, cryptoids, you know, like Bigfoot and stuff like that. And haunted objects. So the one I'm watching, and I think I've watched this one already, because for some reason it's not putting, telling me when I've watched something, is creepy true crime cases that will cases that will give you chills. In fact, I think I was watching this when I started the video and I lost my place, so. I'm watching it again. So when I finish filming and I'm setting up for the next video, I'll watch a bit more. And then I'll uh, do, you know, it's just something to do in between filming. It's getting on now, it's gone 10. I haven't done my eBay yet. Somebody sent me an offer on something I was gonna accept it but I haven't yet but I will and I've probably got a few things to send offers out on as well so I'll do that so that's all the stars right so we'll do some on her now Which you can't see because she's too far down there she is. Um, okay. And then she's got this thing in her hair. Which is kind of like a little flower. So I'm going to use a sparkly purpley colour for this. 
And you can say, well, it should be green because it's leaves. And yes, it probably should be, but you know what? She can have whatever colour I want. And she's very blue, so I thought I'd give her a bit of colour. It's the only colour she has. The rest of it is all blue. Okay, and then we'll do some silver on these stars up here. So we're just going to do that and we'll just do... So one thing about the silver is it does tend to cover absolutely anything. So if you accidentally have gone over a line, the silver will always go over it. I need to change my battery, so I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Okay, battery's changed. Back to the silver. Just up here at the moment doing these. I have got four batteries for the camera, but I'm down to two at the moment. I need to find the others. I think I know where I know where one of them is. One of them is in one of the drawers downstairs. But as I'm going to be keeping everything up here now, I, only, I mean, I will take the tripod and the camera downstairs for when we're filming other things. So, for instance, me and Paul are going to be filming us um, singing a song <laughs> for Facebook um, probably on the weekend this week. Um, Saw Doctor's song called uh, The Music I Love. We might do it this weekend. And me singing some other songs. We just need to get the uh, system right. And then we can do it. But uh, at the moment, obviously the tripod's up here. So. The tripod, I don't mind moving that up and down to do things, but the problem with doing colouring um, downstairs is, of course, all my books are now up here. So we're trying to sort out the living room and dining room, which is where I normally colour, get it all nice, tidy and sorted and clean. There's still tons and tons of colouring pencils and stuff downstairs and all my, my diamond kit as well, which I haven't done anything of my diamond painting for ages, if, if you were wondering. Um, I haven't done anything. I, I still haven't finished the black background that I was doing on the Marilyn. Um, I might, if I can film everything I want to film tonight, which is all the flip throughs, is bring it up here and have a go at it tomorrow night in bed. Now I've got this tray. You know, if I want to come up and have some pace. Um, do a bit before I go to proper bed but I do also want to like I said do a bit more of the Black Widows film in tomorrow it won't be today because I've got some flip throughs to do still I've got a load of flip throughs to share with you um, you'll be seeing this video on Thursday filmed on Wednesday and I, I meant to put one up today and I didn't but that's it's okay Sometimes I can see where the stars were. And if I can, I'll, I'll pop them back with the silver pen. Or I could even get a white Posca and use a white Posca, really. But I haven't brought that up yet. There's still some, a fair bit of colouring supplies downstairs. Um, my marker of Fiend pencils. Faber-Castell Classic pencils are still down there. My Rogerson's still down there. I have to bring the rest of it up. Uh... It's out of the way then. I mean, and I will take stuff down, but I'll take down a bag, a tote bag, a canvas tote, with whatever supplies I want to use that day. And the book. Or colouring page I'm doing. So for instance I might take down I missed I missed one. I missed a star. Say a hundred swirls or geometric patterns and the Sharpies or the gel pens, the glitter pens. Oh I got a load of gel pens to bring up as well if I can find them. 
and then I might bring up, uh, bring down another book and the polychromos if I want to use those. stars where I can't at the moment. I'll have a look at that after I finish the rest of it. So next I've just got a little bit to do on her her wings and we're finished. So on her wings she's got these little circles some of which I've covered over some of them I haven't and I'm just going to put a little bit of gel here just to give it a little sparkle. I'm liking her and the only other thing I haven't done is her lips and I will just give her some red glittery lips I think I like I really like I like this book but like I've said I really love all the Jade Summer stuff I'm a big fan and I have been for a few years. Some of the first books I bought were Jade Summer. Those were back in the days when we all thought it was actually a person rather than a brand. But uh, I guess because we were used to Johanna Basford and Selena Fennec and Hannah Lynn that we all thought Jade Summer was a real person. But it's a good idea for a brand and obviously they put out so many books that one artist could not draw them all near a consortium of very good artists so that's why you get so many different types of books and styles it's like I said I'm not sure about the wedding book at the moment you know it's not one where I think yes I must have it straight away it's more sort of ah uh, maybe but I'm not I'm not actually sure The front cover, by the way, is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what sort of book I'd like to see. I like the fantasy ones. That's why I'm a big Selena Fennec fan. I mean, I really love her work. I haven't done one of hers for ages. I might do one of the Fedorables soon. So I keep thinking of, oh, I've got this book I haven't done anything in yet. And then I'm like, oh, and really, come on. You have got to do some in these books. So I'm just putting in a little bit of sparkle on this wing here. Let's put that under there. Let's give her some sparkly lips. And we'll be done on her. I'll use this one. Da, 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 da. And we are finished. We have now finished Fairy's Grayscale, the picture from it. Let's zoom out and have a look at her. I'm just going to try and get it straight for you because obviously I'm sitting on a funny angle. So there we are. That is our finished picture from Fairy's Grayscale. I really like her. She's brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and uh, share this video if you've really enjoyed it subscribe if you're not a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when I pop up another video as you know at the moment I'm putting up quite a few a lot of them are flip throughs it's just the way it is there's a lot of books I've got that I want to share with you and I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one bye guys